everyone, I'm so Jody. Thanks for the Miro project and the Rabbit Hedge Photographic Gallery inviting. I'm so delighted to present my artwork called Across the Mount Meru in this exhibition. I will take you over the mountain of my spirit and the childhood experience. And first, let me show you about my artwork studio. And here is a tree. Here also is a tree. And this photo also will be shown in this exhibition. It's divided into two sub scenes across the most many and shameless eyes. First is the across the most many and from 2018 to 2021, which I met because of my uh, child childhood experience and identity. I'm a child people born in Russia. Our ancestors lived a nomadic, nomadic life. At the starting point of my life, I migrated with my grandparents over Eurasian communities, breathing, lowing, and dough, feeding on fruits and the fountains by the mountains as boundary. We traveled between the west and the east. The barren nature was what we must face. In ancient India, the Mount Meru was the highest peak, and the scale mountain that the sun, the moon, revealed around, and the about a body of gods. Mm, so Mount is also a symbol of my migratory life. The second sub same Shaman's eyes, comes from my ethnic beliefs. Living nomads in Siberia, such as Altus and Mongolian, we have a common belief, Shaman, in the national legend, the word was born from a huge tree, called World Tree. So when I taking a photo, I always point my camera at these fairies, at these trees. For these photos printing, I choose Japanese version paper, a traditional paper of the East. And my subject, my artwork subject is also nature. So I choose a medium comes from nature and is closely related to nature and the human's life. Just like the Korean artist Lee Eun Fan, he used stones to make installations art. Fine stones and steel are integrated into nature. For me, art is also a means of uh, exploring nature and finding the relationship between the nature and the human being. So I wish you will enjoy this exhibition and feel the power from nature. Thanks for listening.